back with another episode of Parent University. Today we're going to be talking about Love and Logic's uh, method of turning your words into gold. All parents want their words to be gold to their children's ears, so let's take a look at how we can accomplish that. You're probably wondering what it means to turn your words into gold. Well, it actually means to, to say what you are actually going to do or can do. A lot of times we think, I'm going to make my child do this, or if I say this, this is what they're going to do, when in actuality, we really can't force our children to do too many things. Um, but we can say what we're going to do if they don't to do something. By sounding this way, where we say what we can do or what we will do, it also creates a better relationship with the child. It tells them, this is what I'm doing, and then it gives them the choice of what they're going to do. How many of you have been driving down the road and it's utter chaos in the back seat? The kids are yelling at each other or talking very loud, or maybe just jamming out to their favorite tune, and it's really making it hard for you to concentrate while you're driving. All you need to do is this, pull over to the side of the road, and when they ask why you're pulled over, you can simply say, I will continue to drive when it's quiet and I can concentrate. This works really well, especially if you're going to some of their events. How about when your children are arguing with each other, or maybe one sibling is bothering the other one? All you have to say is, you're welcome to stay with us as long as you're not bothering your sister any longer. Do you ever have trouble with your kids getting their chores done on time? Instead of saying, do your chores or you'll be grounded, you could say, I'll be happy to let you go with your friends as soon as your chores are all finished. It seems that kids are showing an attitude or disrespect at a younger age. There is a really effective way of dealing with this. Instead of yelling at them or shouting or using a really stern voice, um, you need to show me some respect, you can simply say, I'll be glad to discuss this when respect is shown to me. Have your kids ever complained that they have nothing to wear? All of my clothes are dirty, I have nothing to wear. Instead of saying, I'm not picking up your dirty clothes from your room, that's your job. You can just simply look at them and say, I'll be glad to wash the clothes that are put in the laundry room. Do you tend to have a child who can be a real slob in their room? Instead of yelling or saying, you need to keep your room clean, get it kneaded up up there, all you have to say is, all owners of neat rooms are welcome to join us for ice cream. How about the child who likes to run outside when it's cold and not wear a coat? And you're kind of a stickler for wearing those. Instead of saying, you're not going without your coat on, you can simply say, I will take children who have their coat on along with me. Hope you can join me. I have to share a favorite um, example of something that actually happened to me with my youngest daughter. We were driving down the street and a car pulled out in front of me and we almost got hit. Instead of when the, when the driver of the car got out and yelled at me thinking that it was my fault, um, my daughter said, Mom, you just need to tell him. I'll listen to you when your voice is calm like mine. She got it because she had heard it a number of times. Using this technique is really a lot of fun. You have to think about it and really practice it, but it's really easy to catch on to. And you know what? The kids will start to figure it out and they'll listen. I hope you have fun turning your words into gold. I know it'll make your life a lot better and you'll be calmer, less stressed, and just raising your kids will just be a whole lot more fun.